Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to go ahead and upload a Vroid Studio Vroid into Craftopia. So obviously first and foremost, you're going to need the Vroid Studio. You're going to go ahead and either make a character or uh, just take one of the base characters. And you're going to go to the camera slash exporter button at the top right hand corner. You're going to hit the upload to Vroid Hub and then hit connect. And you're going to go ahead and log in and link it to your account. And it's going to give you an authorization code, which you can simply just hit the copy button. And then hit the paste button back on your Vroid Hub. Next, you're going to need to go ahead and hit that select what to upload button at the top right hand corner. And you're going to click a new character. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Little Milks. Doesn't really matter the age because I'm going to set mine to private. And then you can capture some images, you can play around with the poses if you want. It doesn't really matter too much if you're going to set it to private. But you would just go to po pose animation, switch to pose, and you can move things around if you'd like. I'm just going to give mine a little peace sign. Then you simply hit the one you want to capture and then hit the capture button at the bottom. Portrait, hit capture. And then you're going to hit upload once you're satisfied with this step. And it's going to take a little bit of time to process. Once you're all processed, it's going to open up your browser tab for you. You're going to see it's optimizing the model data. This is where you can also, once again, name the model again. So I'm just going to name it Little Melks again. And this is also the page that if you want it set to private so no one else can use the one that you made, then this is also the page you would do that on. Okay, so you can see I already have mine set to private default it's under the status button. So I have it set to private. And then once you're satisfied with all that, you save it privately. And it's going to be attached to your um, Vroid Hub login. So once again, it's just Vroid Hub. If you Google that, that's how you get that login. Now to go ahead and put this model onto Craftopia, you're just going to go ahead and select your single player, multiplayer, whatever you're playing on, doesn't matter really. You're going to hit the Vroid Hub settings at the bottom right hand corner. And you're going to coordinate data with Vroid Hub. And that's again going to pop up with an authentication code. And you can go ahead and paste that code into there. And then you should be able to hit your Vroid Hub settings again. Click on the character you want to change the model for, and it should pop up as yours, which ones you own. Or if you go to the Vroid Hub website, you can also favorite some free models. So that's the one that we had saved earlier. Giving it a chance to load on in. And then you're just going to hit the um, Japanese words down there to go ahead and open it up. Okay, so now you're going to want to once again click on your model, your Vroid Hub settings, hit your settings here. And this is when you want to adjust the scale to be more Craftopia's scale. So you can change the how your height, how your head equipment sits on your head, or you can make it so the head equipment doesn't even show at all.
there. I also got the Craftopia shader or your default shader from the Vroid. I chose the Craftopia shader. And then the spring bone is how much like your hair or a fabric moves around. So about the middle of the bar is about a good average spot to stop at where it looks realistic. I'm just going to take my headgear off completely. And once you're satisfied with this, you'll go ahead and hit the OK button. You hit go back, and now you're free to go ahead and actually click on your character and go into your world. Alright, and here I am with my Vroid model in Craftopia. All the emotes, everything still works. Your attacks should still work. Okay, well, if you have any questions, just let me know. So once again, this is done with Craftopia, the Vroid on Steam, and the Vroid Hub on your web browser. Thanks for watching.